So I says, what's the deal with airplane peanuts? <coughs> Ooh. Ah, uh, tough crowd. Okay. Uh, well, let's get on to the show. So welcome to the 2020 Burb Awards. Yeah, Burb, Burb. This is the most prestigious music award show in history, man. And you know what? 2020 has been an amazing year. One of the best years in, for humankind. Just turn on the news and you'll see nothing but positive things. But you know what's even better? Breakdowns, baby! And that's why I'm ranking them in a top 10 order. These are the best breakdowns that I've heard this year. That's right, I'm ranking them from all my reactions. So if there's a breakdown I missed, let me know. But these are all based off the videos that I've done this year. So these breakdowns, how I'm categorizing them, is based off being fun, creative, heavy, disgusting, surprising, shocking. Maybe you might cry a little bit because it's so heavy. It's everything combined. So if you're looking for just disgusting breakdowns, you won't find that here. This is not the heaviest breakdowns. I'm talking about the best breakdowns in terms of creativity, fits the song, you know, everything combined. This is the best of the best. And without further ado, I think that's enough chit chat. So let's fuck do it. And at number 10, I just gotta throw an Aussie metalcore band in the mix, and that goes to... BAM! Diamond Construct Enigma. So if you don't know who these guys are, check them out because they're so good. They're up and coming and this breakdown just goes so hard. It's overextended. There's two breakdowns in this song, but to finish off the song, it's just a long extended heavy breakdown with interesting panic chords, a little bit of new metal influence, and it's just, it's so unique. It's so hard hitting and aggressive and just a fantastic closer to a really, really stellar track. Now let's go on to number nine. Okay, number nine might actually surprise most of you if you follow the channel, and that goes to. Well, bam! Era Snowblood. Come on, man. The song is so catchy. Like, uh, well, that breakdown is so catchy. And, you know, my opinion about Era is that I find a lot of their riffs don't resonate. But that's not to say that this breakdown isn't catchy as hell. Really fun rhythm pattern. And just to finish it off, it's with that super fast harmonic picking that Jesse plays. It's just Chef's Kiss, man. There we go, Chef's Kiss. Now, I know that Snowblood is not my favorite song ever, but it's growing on me. But I know when I heard this breakdown, it's a good breakdown. The more I listen to it, the more I enjoy it. And that's why I just have to give it to number nine. Now, let's go on to number eight. Number eight goes to Teen Teen Vale Maya Outsider. Okay, so Vale Maya, they've been around for a while, but the fact that they just wrote one of the best songs that they've ever done as a band was shocking. But you know what else is more shocking? This breakdown. It literally comes out of nowhere, and that's why I just have to give it to number eight, because if you watch any reaction channel, they all get surprised by this fake out breakdown. You know, they play credits in the music video, and psych, that wasn't actually the ending, because ting ting! That little ting ting is so iconic with the mutes on the guitar as well. You know, just, it's one of the most surprising breakdowns, and that's why it's one of the most memorable and iconic, and that's why it's number eight for me. Let's go on to number seven. Okay, number seven is the weirdest breakdown of the year. One of the weirdest breakdowns of the year, and that goes to Code Orange swallowing the rabbit hole. This band has really shocked me this year because I know they've been around for a while. They're one of the bigger bands on this list, and the fact that I've never checked them out till this year is surprising but not as surprising as this breakdown because it's glitchy it's weird and there's been other weird breakdowns like invent animate monarch but i just had to give the weird breakdown vote for this band because the kill switch on the guitar where they just stop the music and kick back in not even on beat it just it's so weird and it you have to take a second guess the first time listening to it because you don't know if your headphones are not working i thought it was just a new unique idea it's weird it's out there and that's why i love it and that's why Code Orange is on the list. Now let's go on to the next one. 
Number six goes to the angriest breakdown that I've heard all year. It's an album that is littered with breakdowns, but one takes the cake. And that goes to... Well, BAM! Boundaries get out. So this breakdown is just heavy, it's angry, but it's just overextended. This is an album uh, that just littered with non-stop breakdowns. All fun, unique, and catchy, and heavy, but this breakdown takes the cake because it's just overextended. It's so pissed off. Like, that's why I have to put on this list. If you haven't checked out Boundaries, seriously, check out the album You're Receiving Warmth because it's one of the best albums of the year. Just litter with breakdowns, but Get Out has the angriest, most pissed off breakdown that I've heard this year. Now let's go on to the next one. Mm, yes, quite shallow and pedantic. Next one goes to, I would say, Mozart metal. And that is, boom, Aviation's Outliers. Okay, so this is essentially Mozart metal, man. They, there's literally piano. Just piano that goes alongside the seven string chugs. It's so heavy. There's no screaming, no vocals or anything, but it doesn't need any vocals. It's all about the instrumentation here. It's literally just an instrumental jam off, but it's so heavy and so fun and surprising. It's an 11 minute track, and that's why I just have to give Aviations one of the best breakdowns I've heard all year. Watch anyone, they're all shocked that this song even has a breakdown, so check it out. Okay, number four, you know, you guys know I love this band. I just have to put them on the list. And that goes to Spirit Box Holy Roller. So Spirit Box, come on, I just have to put them on this list because they have amazing breakdowns. But I think Holy Roller is the best one because this song is already heavy and intense. The song is already essentially a breakdown, but the fact that, the, that they know how to make an even heavier section Oh, just icing on the cake. And I'm talking about the classic version, not with Rio from Crystal Lake, because Courtney's vocals are just ear piercing. They're so angry and aggressive. It's like you can literally feel the passion through her voice and the, the glass shattering and the fact that the guitars are pitch shift their guitars even lower is just insane, man. It's just insane. It's one of the best breakdowns I've heard all year. I go ham to it anytime it's on. Spirit Box deserves to be on this list. And I think Holy Roller is the best breakdown that they've written this year. Let's go on to the next one. Number three goes to the breakdown I think is the most creative. It's one of the most clever breakdowns that I've heard all year. One ever, actually. And that goes to a band that you've probably never heard of, but you should check them out. And that is The Gloom in the Corner, Warfare. <laughs> Okay, so the Gloom in the Corner is essentially storytelling with uh, Metalcore. What they do is their music follows an overall story arc, just like bands like Coheed and Cambria and uh, The Deer Hunter. So if you're familiar, then you know that it's a grand story and it takes place in war. And the fact that the breakdown rhythm sounds like a military march is why it's so unique. It literally fits the theme of the band and the music. And I think it's so cool that the rhythm actually sounds like a military march. You watch the music video as well. It's dark and gloomy. No pun intended, but it's so heavy and dark, but it's unique. And that's why it's number three. Let's go on to number two. Number two goes to the fattest drop that just hits you and then pounds you and just keeps pounding you. It's Silent Planet Trilogy. Come on, man, this drop literally is just so heavy, man. The production helps big time, but just the fat guitars with Garrett's vocals are just so angry and tense, the lows, the highs, and the buildup. You know, the lyrics are personal to Garrett as well, which makes the song even more intense. And uh, this song is just beautifully made. And uh, there's nothing like overly crazy about it, but this is why Metalcore is so good because of songs like this and breakdowns like this. One of the best breakdowns I've ever heard. It's just an amazing drop and you watch any other reaction channel and that breakdown literally gets everyone. Before we get on to number one, here's many, many honorable mentions. So many breakdowns this year, very hard to put them in the top 10 list, but here's 
tons of breakdowns that you need to check out as well. Number one goes to the most iconic breakdown all year. This is literally a classic. And when I heard it, I knew it was a classic in the making. This is shocking, heavy, disgusting, but fun. And number one goes to Slaughter to Prevail, Demolisher. Demolisher! Okay, so this breakdown wouldn't be as effective as it is if it wasn't for that pre-breakdown buildup. Come on, man. Alex Terrible's vocals are literally demonic. I see the word demonic used for a lot of different vocalists, but holy crap, I think Alex Terrible literally takes the cake for just sounding like a freaking demon. Like, it's actually insane. And uh, this breakdown is just, it's fun, too. It's not just overly disgusting. It's something enjoyable with the, the power chords that go in between the chugs and just like the nice chords in between. It just sounds sick, man. It just sounds sick. The drumming and everything, the build up, the... Ah! Man, I can go on about this breakdown. Like, I sound like a nerd because, well, honestly, I am a nerd. And the fact that just this breakdown has such an intense build up was a satisfying payoff. It's just iconic, man. It's literally the most iconic breakdown. One of the most iconic breakdowns I've ever heard. And that's why it's number one. So congratulations, Alex Terrible and team. You guys earned yourself a green present over here. You can uh, collect it whenever you want. You don't want to miss out on this present, okay? So congratulations on the win, Slaughter to Prevail for the best breakdown of the year. But guys, those are my breakdowns. I know your list is going to be different, but just keep in mind, my list is way better, okay? But <laughs> I'm curious to know what your top 10 list is, so comment down below, spice up my life. Come on, let's hear those lists. I want to know if there's breakdowns that I missed in 2020. Keep in mind that this list is based off the reactions that I've done, so there's some that I missed. Let me know the ones I missed, and I might check it out in 2021, okay? But comment your list down below. But on that, thank you for tuning in. Till next time. Peace.